All right. Hey, everyone. This is Garrett, one of Jackson's best friends and Natalie's best friends, too. But with that being said, the lovely married couple gave me the opportunity to have this little segment. It's called Blinds with Garrett. So we're going to do a little blind today, and we're just going to just pick something and see what Natalie and Jackson try to find in the blind and maybe knowing Jackson though he'll get it right dead on but I'm gonna take a look behind the cabinet and see if we could find a little surprise for the both of them I did some digging and after looking I think I found the right bottle this is the Ben Holiday seven-year bourbon lore bottle I will say I did try this at, shoot, what is it, Liquor King? Um, not the same brand, but it was, I think, the red weeded, and it was actually really good, so cheers to uh, Ben Holiday. You want to hear a little something? Oh, that was a twist. I'm sorry. Let's redo that. Ooh. Think that's good enough? Now I'm going to write this down and see if I could stump them. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jackson. I'm Natalie. And this is Whiskey Trek. And today we're doing a blind pour, uh, which, as you saw, was poured for us by our buddy Garrett. Uh, that way we have no idea what we're drinking and yeah, I don't know what else to preface this with. I'm excited. Let's go. All right. Let's jump into it. Cheers. Cheers, madam. Oh, I have thoughts. Mm. The color's really nice. Spicy. Really? To me. You haven't had enough whiskey tonight then. I can't get mad. That's true. I tried to give you warm up pours, but you only finished one. Yeah. This smells really familiar. Yes, it does. That that much is true. I wasn't sure if we wanted this to be a competition or not, but. <gasps> no, let's work together. <laughs> you just want to copy my homework. <laughs> All right. On the nose, uh, bananas immediately. I got ham. You and your savory notes. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying now, but I wouldn't have necessarily lent that way, but. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of spice, but I don't think this has anything to do with it being a rye at all. Fair enough. There's a sweet nut in there, not a peanut. I went back and for like a microsecond, I got like coffee grounds just for a second and then I lost it. I was like, dang it. Hmm. Oh, it was lovely for a second. The ethanol note is a little perfumey almost, which is interesting. Not floral, but... Did you do your switch, right nostril, left nostril, see how different they are? No, because usually the only difference for me is how spicy it is. Oh, all right. Brown sugar on the palate. Yep. It's just really plainly sweet. Yeah, I was going to say, it is so plain caramel. Caramel? I don't... I always get your version wrong. I, I call it caramel. But brown sugar, definitely, after you said that. I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of brown sugar on the palate. It's slower proof. It's kind of watery a little bit on the palate. There's no viscosity there, honestly. There's a lingering finish of just brown sugar sweetness. And I wouldn't say it's terribly long, but it's at least there and noticeable. Ballpark the price. I think $40. $40. Okay, yeah. I think 40 bucks is, is probably appropriate. That means his socks are not knocked off. I think it's fine. When I first smelled this, I thought for sure this would be a Brown Foreman product, Jack Daniels or Old Forester or something like that because it was so banana at first. And then it kind of turned not that. Uh, and I blame Natalie on that because she said ham. And then I lost that banana note. And that might've actually been helpful because I don't think this is Brown Foreman anymore. It's always helpful. It's always helpful. Yeah, possibly. Um, <laughs> proof, I think it's around 100. Yeah, definitely. For sure. 
I don't think it's any higher than 107, and that would be a stretch. And I don't think it's any lower than mid 90s. It's throwing me through a little bit of a loop because it's a little bit of thing. It's a little bit of everything. I can guess. I, I get a little bit of Heaven Hill. I get a little bit of Brown Foreman, and I get a little bit of Beam. But I don't have anything from Heaven Hill or Brown or Heaven Hill or Jim Beam that's this proof. I thought Garrett was gonna go more crazy or creative. I know you said don't pick weird. Yeah, well, I mean, I, special, I didn't. Special, no, I should say. I, no, no, no. And I didn't say weird or special. I said don't pick something gross. Oh well, you don't buy gross things. Yeah, but there we have been given gross things. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> All right, just gonna go with our gut and guess. Um, All in. One of the weird things about this that makes it so hard to guess is most of what I have is very like memorable and stands out and has a very noticeable flavor profile that you're like, ah, yes, that's obviously this. Yeah. And this is just so normal whiskey <laughs> that it's making it hard. But I'm going to go ahead and guess. Natalie, you have something in mind? I do. All right, you go first. 1792 bottled and bond. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. I think it's the Jack Daniels bonded right here. Oh. Okay, that's, that's a good guess, too. All right. Three, two, one. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Say it isn't so. No way. Apparently, it's the Ben Holiday Bourbon Lore pick, which I love a lot. One of the most hyped bottles earlier this year, the Ben Holiday Bourbon Lore pick is a combination of 18 different barrels from Ben Holiday, and it was one of my favorite bourbons this year. I don't get, I don't get that. That doesn't taste, in this glass, didn't taste anything like it usually does. So or smell. It's done a lot in this sitting time. Since we That's true. It. It's had air time. It's definitely not 100 proof. It's 118.6. So. Wow. Don't agree with my blind opinion because this bottle's great. <laughs> I need to, why don't we just... It still doesn't smell as crazy as I remember it. Even now, it's not as wow as when I first cracked it. I'm incredibly disappointed with myself. And, um, well, Garrett just ruined one of my favorite bottles for me, so thanks, buddy. <laughs> this is a sad day at Whiskey Trek. But I'm sure that it'll be hilarious for everyone watching at home because I just made a total ass of myself on camera. <laughs> There's always next time, babe. There's always next I time. I promise you I'm good at this. But not today, apparently. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, thank you, Zuko. So nice of you. <laughs> All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And watch us embarrass ourselves more, possibly. It's a good time. You know, usually embarrassing videos do better than videos where you actually do good at your job. So right, well, join us next time. Thanks, everybody. And we'll catch you here next time at Whiskey Trek. Cheers.